Chicago police are questioning four people, and the medical examiner tells us human remains were found at the house where those people were arrested. WGN's Patrick Elwood is live on the west side, outside the ME's office. Patrick. Like a joke, good evening to you. The family is awaiting official word from the medical examiner here on West Harrison Street that that body found in that home at 77th and Karloff is indeed hers, Bartlett Ochoa's. That said, a family spokesperson telling us just a little while ago they have a bad feeling that it is indeed her. Chicago police are questioning four people this afternoon in the disappearance of 19-year-old Marlon Ochoa. Ochoa went missing April 23rd. Her loved ones say she was going to that home on 77th Street to exchange baby goods by way of a Facebook exchange group called Help a Sister Out. Ochoa was nine months pregnant. Police sources now believe she was lured to that residence. The woman claiming to have a stroller and other baby goods who lives there was going to give them away for free. She was giving clothes away, uh, supposedly under the uh, pretenses that her daughters had uh, had been giving clothes and she, they had all these extra boy clothes and that's for the false pretenses that I believe led her to, to that house. Hours later that same day, neighbors say that 46-year-old woman came running out of the house claiming that she had just had a baby boy but he wasn't breathing. Paramedics arrived. The baby was transported to Christ Hospital, where he remains in critical condition. Her family says DNA testing has now revealed that that baby is Wachowicz. Don't go in strangers' houses. Um, always bring somebody with you. Now I think it's making people more aware. Because you would never think that. And we're hopeful. We have faith. Um, they're preparing for the worst. So police are not confirming that that baby's DNA is a match to Marlon Ochoa's. She is married. She has a three-year-old son. Her car, we know this for certain, was found near that residence at 77th and Karlov back on May 8th. Suffice to say, as I throw it back to you guys in the studio, Mike and Joe, a lot of questions remain not only of her disappearance, but now of the subsequent investigation. Reporter for the West Side, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Back to you guys in the studio.